After historic success of Chandrayaan, ISRO is all set to add another feather in its cap. India's space agency is all set to conduct the first test flight of Gaganyaan that's going to be done at the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. This test flight is going to involve a specially designed single-stage rocket that's going to launch the crew escape system and the crew module simultaneously. ISRO says the space agency is going to conduct the test of flight demonstration and evaluation of test vehicle subsystems. Gaganyaan project is going to demonstrate human spaceflight capabilities, doing so by taking a three-member crew to an orbit of 400 kilometers on a mission that's going to last three days and then bring the crew back safely, with the landing set to take place in the Indian sea waters. Joining me live this morning is my colleague Akshita Nand Gopal. Akshita, very good morning. Can you give us the details about this particular mission, Akshita? Good morning, Sneha. Yes, today is the big Gaganyaan day. You're going to be seeing one of the most crucial tests to ensure the success of Mission Gaganyaan happen in just a few moments from now in Sri Harikota of Andhra Pradesh. So what are we going to see happen today? This is the crew escape module system, uh, and it's going to follow a similar trajectory as the final mission itself does, which means that it's going to go up in the air. Obviously, the height to which it goes up is going to be much lesser than the actual mission. Uh, so what we're hearing is that it's going to go up about a height of 17 kilometers and then a controlled drop down. It will touch down in the sea about 10 kilometers off the coast of Sri Harikota into the Bay of Bengal. There the Indian Navy has also been roped in. They're going to be involved in ensuring that they rescue that particular module. So all of this will come into effect because what you're going to see is uh, a trial of the emergency exit that's being put in place. The crew escape module system essentially ensures that the astronauts who will be a part of the Gaganyaan mission, if if something goes wrong, will have that emergency exit door, that emergency exit option. And that's why this module is so very crucial. In all, Sneha, for the Gaganyaan mission to actually get a go-ahead, you're going to see 20 such test runs actually take place of different modules of different parts. But this one in particular is going to be extremely important. We've shown you pictures of what the crew escape module uh, uh, actually looks like. And inside that is where the astronauts will be seated. Of course, we don't know who the astronauts are just yet. We've got uh, uh, some hints, no names, of course, at this point, and then it's not something we can divulge also, but they are, yes, from the Indian Air Force. So this is a joint effort. The Navy is a part of this trial. You have, in fact, uh, the IAF, which is training people to be astronauts for this mission, and then this entire uh, test flight that you're going to witness this morning is going to last for a duration of about 532 seconds. That's the countdown that Israel will be hoping that they follow to a T. When the drop down happens, the touchdown happens, the Bay of Bengal, it's going to be about 10 kilometers away from the Sri Harikota coast. So that's how much they've calculated to perfection exactly how they want this trial, this test flight to take place. All right. Thanking you for the moment, Akshita, getting us up to speed with all those developments.